Hey, what's up everyone? It's Tachi back in the car or still in the car for another Be more -er moment. And this time I wanted to talk about sometimes the tools you have are the ones for the job, right? So let me tell you, how, you, you know, it's a, it's a Be more -er moment, okay? It's a moment. So it's related to videos and live streams through other types of media events or life events in case you didn't know. Okay. So I recently, you know how you get caught up in what influencers do sometimes? Don't act like you don't. I see you. You get caught up in some of the things like there might be something on TikTok shop and you say, oh, I need that. But really you don't. Or, you know, some influencer will be talking about a particular perfume or a particular face wash and you, or body wash. And you're, they make it sound so wonderful. And because this person has a lot of followers or subscribers or community members, you believe what they say and you say, I'm going to get that too. And then you get it and you're like, why did I get this too? I knew what I was doing. So sometimes the tools you already have are great. So I actually thought there was a, um, an influencer who is great, but you know, sometimes you have to realize that some of the things, especially if they're body products, they're not going to work for everyone. And so, you know, I'm always live, I'm always on video, so makeup is my thing. And I was like, I wanted to try some, a new foundation. And this particular influencer said, oh, that's so great, it feels like skin, blah, 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 blah. It does not feel like skin. And it's, it's decent, but the tint, I have red undertone, I've discovered this now. I always thought that I was more neutral or to, to yellow, and I am not. And I discovered this when I got these, the ones that, and I'm like, well, this looks bloody green. It looks green. So I had to realize what I had been using all along. You had the power to go home all along, Dorothy. Click your heels. What I've been using all along has been fantastic all along. It's just because you see these shiny new things and they seem newfangled and you're like, oh, well, this person looks great. I want to try it too. And it was not, and this person was like the same shade as me. So I figured, oh, okay. But then I was like, but this person does not have the same undertones I do. I, I, I discovered I have a red undertone. It is what it is. And so I can't use some of these neutrals and stuff because it will make me look green. I tried it. I put, I said, what on earth is this? What on <laughs> Beyonce's internet is going on here in the year of our Lord, 2024? Anyway, <laughs> so what does this have to do with video and live stream? A lot. S some of us are so busy saying, oh, well, we can't do the live stream or we can't do videos until we get equipment A, equipment B, equipment C, or we already have equipment A, B, and C, and we are constantly fiending for a new camera, a new microphone, a new set of lights. I'm guilty because, you know, I'm a techie. I love all these stuff. I love uh, stuffs, stuff, stuff, whatever. I love all of this stuff. I love, um, microphones. I'm a sucker for new cameras. I love lighting. So I love all of these production toys. It's whenever I get, I remember when I would get money, like if my mother would give me money uh, for, for uh, Christmas or whatever. Yeah. I might've bought clothes, a little bit of clothes and stuff, but I saved it so that I could, I went straight to Amazon so that I could buy equipment and stuff for, for production. That's my thing. I love that kind of stuff. And so I, but I don't always have what I have works. I've been using it. I've had the same cameras for the past, um, for the past nine years. Yeah. For the past nine years, I've had the same cameras and they still work. They still serve its purpose. It still serves its purpose. Now I am getting another camera that's a little more cinematic, but it has, that's purpose in it. It has a different cinematic look. But for live stream and even for what I do with shooting, they're perfect. So the moral here is don't always be chasing the new or the new new <laughs> because what you already have may be perfect. Also, remember, it's not always the camera. 
some, sometimes it's the user. It's not always the lighting. Sometimes it's the user. Uh, often if it's bad sound, it's just bad sound. But is it? did you plug it all the way in? So look at the equipment that you already have and play with it more. Is there something else that you could do to up the level of the way this looks? For a camera, for example, maybe you don't have enough light. Perhaps you didn't clean off your lens. Sometimes a bad camera is just the camera not being prepped or you don't know how to use it properly. Take the time to understand all of your equipment, how to get the most out of it. And then when you have, then you can look at, all right, I think I'm ready for something new. So that's what I want to say. Don't always be chasing that new foundation, Joe. Just saying. All right. Well, I hope that was helpful. It's also with being grateful. That's gratitude, being grateful for what you already have. That doesn't mean don't improve, but be grateful for what you have because then new things can come in once you've shown that gratitude. Okay. Look at me. There we go. All right. Well, if you have any questions about equipment or shooting or that type of thing, go ahead and drop it in the chat below and I will see you next time. This was more than a moment, but that's okay. Cheers.